which medication helps reduce fluid build up in patients with heart failure a beta blockers b statins c anticoagulants d diuretics and the correct answer is d diuretics diuretics help reduce fluid build up in heart failure patients by increasing urine production this process removes excess fluid from the body as a result it decreases the strain on the heart and helps alleviate symptoms like swelling and shortness of breath which condition involves the under development of the left side of the heart a coarctation of the aorta b tetralogy of fallot c hypoplastic left heart syndrome d transposition of the great arteries and the correct answer is c hypoplastic left heart syndrome Hypoplastic left heart syndrome is a rare heart defect present at birth that is it is congenital in this condition the left side of the heart is extremely underdeveloped if a baby is born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome the left side of the heart can't pump blood well Which of the following procedure is commonly performed to correct transposition of the great arteries in newborns? A balloon atrial septostomy, B Fontan procedure, C Norwood procedure, D arterial switch operation. And the correct answer is D arterial switch operation. The procedure commonly performed to correct transposition of the great arteries in newborns is called the arterial switch operation. This operation is also known as Zutten procedure or Zutten switch procedure. This surgery switches the positions of the major arteries to their correct locations. Which procedure is used to repair or replace the aortic valve without open heart surgery? A percutaneous coronary intervention PCI, B transcatheter aortic valve replacement TAVR, C coronary artery bypass grafting CABG, D pacemaker implantation. And the correct answer is B transcatheter aortic valve replacement. TAVR The procedure used to repair or replace the aortic valve without open heart surgery is called transcatheter aortic valve replacement TAVR This procedure involves inserting a new valve via a catheter through a blood vessel often assessed through the groin This method avoids the need for open heart surgery and allows for quicker recovery. Which of the following syndrome is associated with congenital heart defects? abnormal facial features and learning difficulties a marfan syndrome b down syndrome c noonan syndrome d turner syndrome and the correct answer is c noonan syndrome noonan syndrome is a genetic condition that can cause a variety of symptoms it often leads to heart defects distinct facial features and difficulties with learning people with this syndrome might also be shorter than average and have issues with bleeding
it results from changes in specific genes which medication is used to prevent the formation of new blood clots a beta blockers b anticoagulants c diuretics d statins and the correct answer is b anticoagulants anticoagulants prevent the formation of new blood clots by thinning the blood this helps to maintain smooth blood flow through the heart and blood vessels by stopping clots from forming anticoagulants reduce the risk of blockages that can lead to heart attacks or strokes this is particularly important for people with conditions like atrial fibrillation deep vein thrombosis or after certain surgeries Which type of fat is considered heart healthy and is found in olive oil and avocados? A saturated fat B trans fat C monounsaturated fat D polyunsaturated fat And the correct answer is C monounsaturated fat Monounsaturated fats found in olive oil and avocados are considered heart healthy because they help reduce bad cholesterol levels in the blood that is they help lower the ldl levels in the blood lowering ldl cholesterol can decrease the risk of heart disease and stroke these fats also provide essential nutrients and antioxidants that protect the heart and blood vessels including monounsaturated fats in your diet can improve overall cardiovascular health which immediate treatment is crucial for a person experiencing sudden cardiac arrest a cpr and defibrillation b beta blockers c angioplasty d coronary artery bypass grafting cabg and the correct answer is a cpr and defibrillation CPR and defibrillation are immediate treatments for sudden cardiac arrest because they can save a person's life by restoring normal heart rhythm and blood flow. CPR helps maintain blood circulation to vital organs by manually pumping the heart. Defibrillation delivers an electric shock to the heart which can reset the heart's rhythm back to normal. Quick action with CPR and defibrillation significantly increases the chances of survival and recovery. Which cardiac procedure involves inserting a catheter into the heart through a vein or artery to diagnose and treat heart conditions? A angioplasty B valve replacement C cardiac catheterization D stent replacement and the correct answer is C cardiac catheterization Cardiac catheterization is considered a procedure that involves inserting a catheter into the heart through a vein or artery to diagnose and treat heart conditions because it allows doctors to directly assess the heart and blood vessels this procedure helps in diagnosing issues like blocked arteries heart defects and measuring pressures within the heart this procedure can also be used for treatments such as opening blocked arteries or repairing heart defects other names for this procedure include coronary angiography and cardiac cath
which dietary component is important for heart health due to its role in reducing bad cholesterol a saturated fats b trans fats c fiber d sodium and the correct answer is c fiber fiber is considered important for heart health because it helps reduce bad cholesterol levels in the blood that is it helps reduce the ldl levels in the blood soluble fiber in particular binds to cholesterol in the digestive system preventing it from being absorbed into the blood stream this helps lower overall cholesterol levels reducing the risk of heart disease additionally fiber can help regulate blood sugar levels and promote a healthy weight both of which are beneficial for heart health What is the recommended amount of moderate intensity exercise per week for heart health? A 60 minutes B 90 minutes C 150 minutes D 200 minutes And the correct answer is C 150 minutes 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week is recommended for heart health because it helps improve cardiovascular fitness lower blood pressure and reduce bad cholesterol levels regular exercise strengthens the heart muscle allowing it to pump more blood efficiently it also helps maintain a healthy weight manage stress and improve overall well being this amount of exercise is associated with a reduced risk of heart disease and other chronic conditions Which habit is most beneficial in reducing the risk of heart disease? A smoking cessation, B high sugar diet, C excessive alcohol consumption, D skipping meals. And the correct answer is A smoking cessation. Quitting smoking is considered highly beneficial in reducing the risk of heart disease because smoking damages the heart and blood vessels. It contributes to the build up of plaque in arteries which can lead to blockages, heart attacks and strokes. Smoking also raises blood pressure and reduces oxygen in the blood, making the heart work harder. Stopping smoking improves circulation, lowers blood pressure and decreases the risk of developing heart disease. Which mineral found in bananas help regulate blood pressure? A calcium, B iron, C magnesium D potassium and the correct answer is Drop your answers in the comment section below For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our Telegram channel I have given the link in the description below If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button Thanks for watching